So what are you doing on Christmas morning? We've barely finished with our morning chores. We've got some snow to move. Then eventually go have breakfast. And then we'll be off to spend some time with family. We got a ton of snow last night. Like four inches or so. Plus over the last this weekend we've got another six inches. Like it is adding up. I just did this last night. Look at it. Done. Since the world is covered in snow, as you can see, it's very, very snowy out. Um, I've given the birds hay, um, and this is a different type of hay. This is um, a hay that has lots of alfalfa, uh, lots of grass, um, not your typical boring hay, but something a little more exciting like clover and alfalfa. And I've put that down and I've um, fluffed it out and put it down so that uh, as a bedding outside under one of their um, shelters. So that when they go in there, <laughs> I keep watching them, they're so cute. Um, so when they go in there, they're able to uh, scratch it and nibble at it. Chickens will eat hay. Now this is definitely not um, their entire diet for the day. They've got their scratch. Um, they've got table stuff, uh, rice and um, what do they have? Rice, bread and other things from the kitchen. Um, but they're outside and they really want something to scratch and play with and it's impossible at this point to scratch on the ground. I didn't turn over the compost this morning. It's just covered in way too much snow and I'm a little exhausted. So I'm going to, you know, I just put down the hay and they're able to scratch that and uh, pick out little bits of leaves that they want to nibble, um, which is really good for them. I also put it into their, into their house as, as bedding. So for the last few days, I've been using straw as bedding in their house and straw is always better than hay because it's hollow in the center. And that means um, you'll have, it, 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 it acts as a better insulator because it's got air in the, in the center. Also, it breaks down in an amazing way. Hay um, is long and straggly, straggly, and it stays that way. But hay, uh, but straw will break down into tiny little pieces. So initially, it might be you know eight centimeters, eight inches long, uh, nine, ten inches long, and after that, by the time it's done, by the time I take it out of the house, like just four or five days, six days later, there's like thirty birds in this little coop. Um, it's just tiny little pieces, so it makes it much more manageable. And also because they're scratching, right? They're breaking it up. Um, what else? What else? Oh, fighting. Fighting is a big deal um, in the winter uh, because there's less food source, there's less space. Of course, they, they still have the entire garden. If I go this way, you guys can see what I'm, you know, they're behind me here. Um, so fighting is a problem because even though they have all the space they normally have, um, the snow limits what they can eat and nibble and play with. And so they, they keep themselves in a smaller space. I've put this hay all around the, the little coop here and the barn, the barn's the door that's open. Um, I put the hay all around and straw and just general dirty bedding so that they can scratch in that and play in that. They'll fight if they don't have enough food sources. So in the summer, I would only give them one or two and that would be fine uh, because they've got all the space and they're out in the garden and they're, they're finding worms and all kinds of goody yummies everywhere. But in the winter, if I just give them at one or maybe two food sources, then they are all going to go crazy and fight over it. And also the, the larger ones or the ones more on the pecking order, higher on the pecking order are going to push the lower ones off and tell them to go away. And so they won't get anything to eat. So this is something really uh, important to consider is if you have lots of birds in the winter to give them multiple spots. Now that doesn't mean tons of food. Birds will only eat what they want. They won't overeat. They won't eat like a horse wherever he's gone now, he will stuff himself until he bursts, actually. So I have to be careful about how much food um, I give him, and that goes for all horses. Uh, so, yeah, so, but chickens will only eat until they're full, and then they will sit down and they'll sunbathe, and they'll relax, and they'll, they'll just chill. I've got a whole bunch right here.
Thanks for watching. I'm Scarlett, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo!